Morning, Ravens. Hope you're having a good week. Hope you're uh, keeping up with your studies. Uh, a little football here to uh, give you a little break. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, a situation that uh, we're going to drill down in a situation that occurred in the Butler game. Uh, I will tell you, as a player uh, growing up, uh, as a coach and as an offensive coordinator, there are plays and there are uh, situations and games that occur where you, you know, it's a, it could be considered a negative. Uh, actually, the play I'm getting ready to show you, we actually end up with first down after a 15-yard penalty on the defense. But I am looking forward to this situation coming up again, uh, either against this team here or another team who picks up this film and decides to use this kind of uh, chaotic blitz in order to overwhelm our offense. And I guarantee you, after we get through uh, whatever spring we have left and get in the summer and get into the season, there'll be situations like this where you will beg for the defense to go all out blitz, which we're seeing here, and go cover zero man coverage on the backside. So without further ado, let's look at this play. Third down from the Butler game. Um, we are in. Um, uh, Dallas, which would be Rob this year. And um, we are going to run a pivot. Uh, and I'll let just let the play run and I'll come back and describe it. We're going to run pivot east. Uh, defense comes in early. That guy gets hit early and we get a first down. Uh, let's go back and look at the situation. Okay, it's third down and uh, eight. Um, so in my mind, uh, I have to do a better job of anticipating this because I had the pivot call, which is a longer developing play. You got the, the dig on the outside, the seam by the number two receiver. We got motion coming. And my thought is always uh, if we were in a blitz scenario, um, we would have these guys outnumbered three to two unless somebody else, and you'll see, in this crazy scenario, it's the free safety coming over to even up the numbers for the defense. So my thought is always get the ball out of our hands, let that guy work. Okay. All right. Let's go look at it from a, a X's and O's standpoint. And this is something, boy. This is one play, like I said, I spent a little time on and I really decided to do this deep dive on. Okay. And so there's different points uh, when we're going. OK, the call was was Rambo. So here's what we knew at the beginning. We had three down rushers. OK, when the motion started, this guy walked down, that became number four. The mic walked down, that became number five. So in this scenario, Rambo would have eventually become man and we would have ended up with one, two, three, four five running back was going Rambo would be headed this way and at the last second there's nothing we can change so we would end up with this guy okay I'd like to be Nostradamus and say we could have figured it out but um, things happen so fast there's no way to do that and we'll make adjustments on that accordingly all right so as we look at the play again let's let's slow it down a little bit Take a little time on this guy. Sometimes I can get on a play and I can just spend, um, you know, 30, 35 minutes on one play um, because I'm going through different scenarios and how we would work. So let's go through different points in the play. Okay, right now we know there are one, two, three, four known rushers. Okay. With him walked up with that wild call, it being Rambo, the tackle makes the wild call, and now it's stuck, and the left guard is stuck. Okay, that's what we know at this point. Okay, I know what happens in the play, but I'm saying what we know at this point. Okay, that means the center starts to slide, and the center would be here. The guard would be covering uh, B gap, and the tackle would have C gap. And so that's how we would get the slide done. So that right there would account for these four 
known rushers. Okay. Now, in the slide, should one of these guys come, and we'll see that that uh, linebacker walk up, that would give us five for five. Okay. The unfortunate thing is, because we have Rambo on the running back is going here when he would be more needed here. But that's my situation to correct, not the running backs. So understand, you guys did nothing wrong. Okay. The only thing we didn't do was we didn't account for that and go stuck, stuck. And that's what we have to do. Remember, in this situation, walk down outside, become stuck, stuck. All right. And then we handle the slide, the rest of the slide. Okay. Let's move it forward. Okay. Remember, thing, this is, we have the luxury of slow mo. I'm sitting here in my chair. Okay. My nice, comfy chair, playing armchair quarterback. But you guys are doing this in real. Okay. So now this linebacker walks down. So in the time that we have, I mean, it's really an adjustment on the fly to go man, man, man. Okay. And here's what it's like. It's like the school dance. Everybody find a dance partner and let's have at it. Okay. Uh, that may have been a bad way to put that, but you know what I mean. Let's do our job. So now, even at this this scenario, we have five known rushers. Man, 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 man. And just somebody grab a man. Okay? Unfortunately, I can't tell you in the middle of the play how to make the adjustment. We just had to be athletes. Okay? But one thing we have to know from watching tape is how many people are in the box? How many people are in the box? Right now, it's five. Count him as six. Okay, but we can't account for that. Okay, remember, the running back's coming here, and he's not Nostradamus. The only thing I can tell him is if you step there and there is no work, find work somewhere along the line of scrimmage. That's all I can tell you in a situation like this. Okay. Now, from a quarterback standpoint, Okay, one of the thing, one of the reasons we run motion is so you can determine how the defense is affected. Okay, let's look at what we know as a quarterback at this point. Okay, this guy right here has no help. Okay, he has no help. So what we know right now is that's one on one. Okay, as far as I can tell, this guy has no help. There's no safety back here. There's no safety on the hash. Right now, I'm talking about right now, in this moment in time, there is no help for him. So well, that's man to man. Okay. Now let's go all the way back and look at the motion guy. Okay. When he comes along to run that route, the only guy responding to his motion is that guy right there. Okay. And keep this in mind, what is he leaving behind? Okay, there's no help here for that guy. So I hope you see how the picture is developing. So across the board, as far as we can tell, they're man to man. They, they, they even have one of the linebackers spying the running back. And when he stays in to block, that running, that guy comes in. Makes the uh, the seventh rusher. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Guy walked up. Okay. All right. We'll go through that again. Okay. So let's watch the motion. Okay. What do we know at this point? Okay. What we know at this point is the guy that's covering him, the guy that's covering him is running all the way from here. Okay. All right. Here again, I'm I'm really looking at this guy wondering, and we're running pivot, so it's an inside release. Okay. So that's helping this guy keep his eyes somewhat inside. That may come into play as well. But all we know is this guy's man to man, and this guy's coming to that zone that he should leave. Okay. So my 
suggestion moving forward is get the ball out your hands, okay? Because we're going to outnumber him. This guy's coming a long way. So just go ahead and catch, throw. Okay, the earlier this guy catches the ball right in here, the earlier he can get his head around and hopefully make somebody miss and get up here and get the first down. And really, that's our only play. I'd like to be Nostradamus and say, so, well, you know what? That linebacker is going to turn uh, Zay loose, but I'm not, I'm not confident in the scheme because by all, by all, he should be covering him. Okay. Both the safety and him ran by, but we can't count on that. All we can talk about is what we know before the snap as far as attack zones. Uh, if you need to refresh that, go back and look at that, that cut up or that install that I did on attack zones. Okay. Now, What's an easier way out? Okay, let me roll forward. Okay, once that guy goes away on the motion, okay, let's automatically say, let's go to that one receiver side. Okay, he ran, looked like a skinny post of some sort. Okay, and what we do know is all of these guys are headed to that side of the field. Okay. But who's covering all of this green grass right here? Okay. So let's look. Let's look. And if anything, if we had attacked the green grass to that side with the one receiver side, to me, like I said, I'm, I'm operating in hindsight. Don't panic. Don't get upset. Don't get your feelings hurt. But what I'm saying is, I'm going to take the one receiver side one on one because all I know is if he does catch the ball, he has to make the tackle and he has absolutely no help. Okay. I'd like to go back and say uh, in a situation like this, when I know a team is going to bring an all out blitz as an OC, I'll throw myself under the bus. Let's not go pivot, which is too long developing. Just go bears. Just go bears. Now things are going to happen much quicker for you as quarterback. And back here, you got a slant. And that slant to the one receiver side with this guy running away from you, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that slant all day. And plus, it's a catch and throw. It's a catch and throw. and We're out of the uh, we're out of it. So anyway, we made adjustments in the second half. Second half, uh, we took this guy out. We put a tight end in here, and he stayed in and blocked, and that helped. Uh, that was an adjustment we made at halftime, um, and it helped because now we we knew we could gap out and still have one guy left for the edge guy. And in any scenario, quarterback, if – your running back is going to take that guy as number six. You take that guy as number seven. And the opposite is true, too. Okay. If you're going to come over here and you're going to read the seventh guy on the edge or this guy on the edge, then put the running back over here to take that edge. So we'll work that out. Uh, we're going to work this out. Uh, I just wanted to give you a look at it. Uh, we still ended up with a first down, uh, so no blood, no foul. We still ended up with a first down because they came up and overplayed our receiver before the ball got there. Um, but there will be situations like this where you will pray that teams blitz us because we know we're getting ready to hit a big play. So anyway, um, guys, uh, continue to work this week. Um, go through – these installs again, just don't let them sit there. Go through them, go through each install at least once a week. Okay. If you have questions, email me, Coach Craft at uh, gmail, coach.mcraft at gmail.com. Uh, if you have any questions about this, how that should have ended up, or any suggestions, give them to me. I need an exchange. So, anyway, guys, take care. Have a great day.